Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being here today in beautiful Barrie. It's a pleasure to be here alongside the president of Georgian College, Dr. Marilyn West Moines, as well as the mayor of Barrie, Jeff Lehman. Earlier today, I had a great discussion with students enrolled in a number of programs here at Georgian College. These women and men are preparing for a range of promising careers, including in the tourism industry and in environmental technology as aviation managers, computer systems technicians, and civil engineers. We chatted about our government's recent investments in skills training and the importance of getting more women into the workforce. And that last point isn't a new one. Canadians know that this is an issue I'm particularly passionate about. A few months ago, I was at the World Economic Forum, and amidst a sea of political and business leaders, I issued a challenge. I asked each and every one of those leaders to make a conscious effort to hire, promote, and retain more women. Les avantages, nous le savons, sont énormes. Des économies plus fortes, des prises de décisions meilleures et des sociétés plus équitables. Pour atteindre cet objectif et appuyer les, milieux en femmes de les femmes en milieu de travail, nous avons entre autres proposé l'adoption de mesures qui favorisent l'équité salariale. Je crois fondamentalement que lorsque les femmes et les hommes font le même travail, ils devraient être payés de la même façon. Après avoir travaillé fort à l'école et après avoir investi dans leur éducation, les étudiantes, comme celles que je me suis entretenu avec, celles avec qui je me suis entretenu ce matin, devraient savoir que la discrimination fondée sur le sexe ne fera pas partie de leur quotidien lorsqu'elles rentrent sur le marché du travail. Ça paraît évident, voire simple, mais encore aujourd'hui, notre économie a du mal à intégrer ce principe. For every dollar of hourly wages a man working full-time earns in Canada, a woman working full-time earns about 88 cents. Canada ranks 15th out of 29 OECD countries based on the hourly gender wage gap. This disparity persists despite the fact that pay equity is a human right entrenched in law. So making pay equity proactive rather than complaints-based has been long called for by workers groups and families, women and men alike. So our government chose to listen carefully and then we got to work. A few days ago, our Minister of Finance, Bill Morneau, tabled, tabled Budget 2018, an ambitious plan for the future of all Canadians. Our ultimate goal is equality and growth for the middle class and people working hard to join it. And since that's our goal, Budget 2018 will see us moving forward with proactive pay equity legislation. This policy means that women and men doing work of equal value will, on average, be paid the same. And that's why we chose to visit Georgian College today. Students in the Environmental Technology Program, for example, often end up working for the federal government in departments like Environment and Climate Change Canada or Natural Resources Canada. The men and women enrolled in this program are learning the same material, being trained the same way, and if they end up working for the federal government, they should be paid the same for work of equal value. And thanks to this new policy, they will be. And they're not alone. Women working at the local bank branch for airlines at telecom companies or for any other federally regulated employer will all soon be covered by robust, proactive pay equity legislation too. In total, 1.2 million Canadians will be covered by this new regime. Soyons clairs, c'est un grand pas dans la bonne direction. Un grand pas pour l'égalité des sexes au Canada que nous sommes fiers de prendre. Cela dit, ça ne veut pas dire que le travail est terminé. C'est un premier pas et il y a beaucoup à, qui reste à faire au niveau provincial et dans le secteur privé. Mais nous, le gouvernement fédéral, avons choisi de donner l'exemple et, et nous mettons nos partenaires au défi de nous suivre. Les femmes en milieu de travail sont sous-appréciées et sous-payées depuis trop longtemps. En tant que société, nous ne pouvons pas aller de l'avant si la moitié de nos citoyens sont victimes de discrimination fondée sur le sexe lorsqu'elles reçoivent leur chèque de paie. Mais heureusement, le changement est à nos portes. Together, we can take the necessary steps towards closing the gender wage gap and increasing the participation of women in the workforce. And in doing so, our economies will be more resilient and our communities 
will be stronger.